Hey everyone, in today's video, we're diving deep, literally, into the Earth's mantle and its role in shaping our planet's atmosphere over billions of years. Researchers have introduced a new tool called Potential Oxygen Fugacity to track how Earth's mantle and atmosphere have evolved together. This revolutionary discovery sheds light on the cooling of the mantle and its connection to atmospheric oxygen levels. Stick around to learn how this new parameter could change the way we understand Earth's past and its future. Welcome to Trend Storm. Chapter 1. What is Oxygen Fugacity? Let's start with the basics. Oxygen Fugacity, or FO2, is a measure of the availability of oxygen in the Earth's mantle. Why is this important? Well, FO2 controls how volatiles, gases like carbon dioxide and water, behave and move within the mantle. These volatiles eventually make their way to the surface through volcanic activity, shaping the composition of the atmosphere. So, understanding oxygen fugacity is key to understanding how gases get released into the atmosphere and influence everything from climate to the evolution of life. Chapter 2. Introducing, Potential Oxygen Fugacity. Now, researchers from the Institute of Oceanology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, IOCAS, have taken a big leap forward by introducing a new parameter, Potential Oxygen Fugacity. This allows scientists to directly compare the redox states, or FO2 levels, of mantle-derived magmas from different depths something that's been tricky to do until now. Why does this matter? Well, the deeper you go in the mantle, the more pressure there is, and that pressure affects how Fe3+, iron, behaves in minerals like garnet. This means that FO2 decreases as you go deeper, but the differences we see in magmas from different depths aren't necessarily because of changes in the mantle's chemistry. Instead, it's often due to changes in temperature and pressure at those depths. By normalizing FO2 to a specific pressure, 1 gigapascal, the potential oxygen fugacity parameter lets scientists make apples-to-apples -apples comparisons across different magma sources. It's like adjusting for temperature differences when measuring the strength of a material. Without this normalization, we'd miss the bigger picture. Chapter 3. Decoding Earth's Redox Evolution So, what does all this tell us about Earth's history? The research team, led by Dr. Fanji Zhang from IOCAS, gathered data from magmas formed all over the world, from Archean Komatsites, ancient, extremely hot magmas, to more modern mantle-derived basalts. Their findings are groundbreaking. Archean magmas had much lower FO2 compared to modern magmas. And the reason? It turns out that the hotter temperatures in Earth's early mantle caused deeper and more extensive melting, which in turn lowered the FO2 of these ancient magmas. What's really fascinating is that when the researchers applied the potential oxygen fugacity parameter, they found that the FO2 of both the ambient mantle and the mantle plume sources has stayed constant since the Hadean, Earth's earliest eon. This means that while surface conditions and atmospheric compositions have changed, the deeper parts of Earth's mantle have remained chemically stable for over 4 billion years. Chapter 4. Implications for Earth's Atmosphere So. What does this all mean for our planet's atmosphere? Until now, many scientists believed that rising FO2 in the mantle drove the increase in atmospheric oxygen since the Archean, contributing to events like the Great Oxygenation Event, when oxygen first accumulated in Earth's atmosphere around 2.4 billion years ago. But this study flips that idea on its head. It reveals that the increase in FO2 wasn't due to a change in the mantle's chemistry, 
but rather the long-term cooling of the mantle. As Earth's mantle cooled, the depth at which magma formed decreased, and this change in melting depth indirectly influenced the amount of oxygen released into the atmosphere. In other words, the mantle didn't become more oxidized over time. Its cooling just shifted where and how magmas were generated, and this, in turn, affected the composition of the gases that reached the surface and the atmosphere. Chapter 5. A New Perspective on Earth's Evolution This study, published in Nature Communications, offers a fresh perspective on how the mantle, the atmosphere, and life on Earth evolved together. According to Professor Sun Waidong, the corresponding author of the study, it provides a new way to understand the co-evolution of Earth's multi-sphere system, from the deep mantle to the air we breathe today. It also offers critical insights into the origins of life, the carbon cycle, and the dynamics of Earth's interior that have shaped our planet for billions of years. This breakthrough in understanding Earth's redox evolution highlights how interconnected our planet's systems are. With tools like potential oxygen fugacity, we can now unravel the complex history of Earth's mantle and its role in creating the atmosphere we depend on. Source. Chinese Academy of Sciences. So what do you think is the most exciting aspect of this research? How might it change our understanding of Earth's past and future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this dive into the deep earth, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Trendstorm, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the latest science and tech discoveries. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.